Hey everyone, it's Gabby here from ARC Transportation, and today we are going to talk about how to get an accurate shipping quote from your carrier. First, let me say, it's all about the details. When requesting a rate from a carrier, they will typically ask for five pieces of information but adding important details will help you get a more accurate quote. Some shippers omit or forget to add these details, which can lead to a change in their final shipping charge. Let's look at the information you need to provide and why it's important. First, let's talk about quantity, weights, and dimensions. These are the specific physical attributes that make up your shipment. When determining quantity, make sure to know if your freight will be on skids, pallets, or loose boxes. The difference between 20 loose boxes or one skid with 20 boxes on it impacts how shipments are routed. It is equally important that each unit is weighed and measured accurately after it has been packaged for shipping. The industry standard for writing the dimensions for your freight is length times width times height. Additionally, once a carrier picks up the shipment, they will often count, weigh, and measure it themselves. If the details are different than what was provided, additional charges may be applied. Second is the commodity or the product description. This is the description of what you are shipping. This information is used to determine the freight classification and if any other special provisions are needed. For example, if the material were to be hazardous. For domestic quotes, the description can be general, such as electronic equipment or computer parts. However, for international quotes, you will need to provide the harmonized code which is also known as the HS code, according to the World Customs Organization, which we will link below. Third is the pickup and delivery location. For quoting purposes, providing your carrier the pickup and delivery zip code instead of the full address is usually fine, but be sure to include any special details that may be unique about the location, for example, certain locations that do not have a dock. When it comes time to actually book a shipment, the complete information will need to be provided, including the full address, company name if it's going to business, the contact person, and contact information. Fourth is your service level. The service level is how quickly you need to have your shipment picked up and delivered. For example, next day, second day, third day, or economy, depending on the distance between pickup and delivery locations as well as if your shipment is going to be domestic or international, your options will vary. This will also determine which modes of transport a carrier may suggest, for example, air versus ocean transport. And finally, accessorials. An accessorial is any extra service you need to complete a pickup or delivery. An example of an accessorial is a shipment picking up or delivering to a residential address. This is a special service because most trucks pick up and deliver to loading docks. Since residential addresses do not have loading docks, a truck with a lift gate will be needed. A lift gate is a piece of equipment installed in the back of a truck. It can be raised or lowered to lift freight up to the truck store. Other accessorial services can include inside delivery, package debris removal, and after hour deliveries. Providing these details will help your carrier get a full understanding of your shipment and help them to give you an accurate quote the first time, saving you time by reducing the amount of back and forth communication and eliminating surprises that can cause your rate to change. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more content about shipping and logistics and have a great day.